I'll play with that, but later. Okay, anybody like these these creatures? Anybody know what they are? Because I totally do. I totally Avery, I need your help. Can we can we let Avery in on this? Because I need some help. And Fatima, this one's for you, girl. You wanted dragons. I got your dragons today. Yeah. Oh, wait, Avery, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, you want me to unmute them right now? Yes, because I lost my mouse. I actually unmuted myself <laughs> while I was trying to talk. Okay, so, and, and, wait, Avery and Una, yes? Uh, Avery first. Let's do Avery. Oh, Avery okay. Yeah. Answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the middle one is a Gronkle. A Gronkle, yes. The other Gron one on the side, this one over there, is a Fire Fury. There you go. A, a Night Fury. Fury. Night Fury. Toothless. Yeah, this one's toothless. Okay. What's this one? I forget what that one is. This Astrid's creature. Caitlin, what do you, what do you want to tell me about these creatures? I know I have more, but you know. Oh, there you um, go. The Gronkle's name is Meatlug. Meatlug. Uh, Thank you. It was just getting to the top of my tongue there. <laughs> and it's in the boulder clasp and toothless is in the um mystery class Mist and stormfly is in stormfly that's what that is oh, she's a what... deadly natter um i love it i can't remember what class she's in yeah i didn't learn classes but all my all my videos for these creatures are on keepdrawing.com or on youtube at art with albright so if you guys see anything that i show you um please find those and draw them if you're on my facebook page i probably have posted them and have links so uh get permission from mom and dad before you do the youtube thing okay um so are you guys ready to draw i did my very own nightlight okay because i know there's a movie where they did um the babies so this is my nightlight see i have a little white here so it's a little a little nightlight i love it do you think do you think so we won't have time to color this together we are going to draw him together are you ready for that are you ready to draw a really fun, cute toy uh, for our toy day? Everybody love it? Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle of my paper, go up just a little bit, okay? And we're gonna create the sides of the head. Just draw real light when we're blocking in our, our character, okay? So this is as wide as the head. And then I'm going to take this and just go down just a little swoop down just a tiny bit and create that jawline okay at the beginning guess what we're just drawing as light as we can everybody got it right now at the top i want to curve the top a little bit higher than we did the bottom i'm not going all the way to the edge though don't go all the way to the edge we're gonna put those big ears right up there big ears just like the daddy right here, Nightingale. No, no, no. Night Fury, light, Night Fury. Whoosh. That's kind of hard to see on the, on all the light. Okay, you ready? So come in on that line, on that curve we just created, and we're gonna just curve this out up here. You don't wanna go too far. And then I'm just gonna curve it back down and bring it to the side here. Okay, good, good, good. Now the side of the head, I don't want the straight line. Okay, it was really good to help me get my um, shape here, but I'm gonna round it out just a little more. Now I have this, the side of the face. Beautiful. I'm gonna zoom in more. There we go. Can you guys see that better? Okay, good. Whoosh. I know sometimes I go too close. Sometimes I'm not close enough. I'm just telling you. Okay, let's put the other ear on. Are you ready? Pull it up, curve, try to get the same height. They don't have to be exact because if you look at your siblings ears, they're probably not the same size, right? No, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
<laughs> and if you look at your puppy's ears, I see they're probably not the same size. Oh, I'm going to talk about the puppy all day, all day long. Let's do the side of this uh, dragon. Now, I love drawing dragons. We do advanced dragons and toy dragons and oh, puppy snuggles. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see here. We are, uh, there's somebody trying to log in. I was like, yes, you can come. <laughs> okay, you got it. Now up here, he's got these cute little horns. So I'm gonna curve toward the center and then pull it back down. Did you get that? I think Avery was drawing it on her head. Were you, were you mapping it out? That was pretty clever. I like that. Pretty clever. Now do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, we're doing mirror image here. There you go. Mirror image, blank. there we go. And then right in the middle, we're gonna do a nice point. A nice point. Now I'm gonna do a few of those coming down. I'm gonna do like five. Oh my goodness, okay, time for a break. My baby's here. You wanna see my baby? This is my brand new baby. This is Mika. This is my brand new baby. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. It's a guinea pig. She's a sweetheart. She is an absolute sweetheart. She's only uh, probably seven weeks old. There we go. There's Mika. Say hi, everybody. My first art class ever. See, look at how tiny her, her little feet are. They're so tiny. That's Mika. We got another one named Azula. We named them Japanese names because my son is stationed in Japan. She's a sweetheart. But Mika means bright. So she's a bright, all bright. <laughs> I thought you guys would get it. <laughs> I know Sarah and Nate had it the start of a joke. If you finish that joke in the chat box. Oh, you did? Okay, let me see. Nate and Sarah. Why did the invisible man turn down a job offer? Anybody know? Because he couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> Okay, that was good. Uh, that was good. I, uh, I, yeah, ha, 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 that was funny. I love it. I love it. Okay, below this, wait, 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 catch up with me, camera. I'm going fast. Below your little horns down here, let's go down and let's put a nice curve, a crease for the top of the nose. Okay, crease for the top of the nose, and then two little lines angling toward each other. Slant them down. Good. You're awesome. You're awesome. Now for the eyes, we're gonna go up from this nose, up just a little bit, okay? And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna curve. That's the bottom eyelid. That's the bottom. There you go. Now the side, we're gonna curve around this area here. They have really weird shaped eyes, okay, dragon eyes. That's sort of like an almond shape, a horse shaped eye, uh, but more cartoon, right? So curve this down. You could think of it as a candy corn as well. That's what I see. Almond, candy corn. Okay, who actually eats candy corn? Anybody? You do? Okay, I haven't had a candy corn in so long. I don't remember if they taste like crayons or not. <laughs> Let's do the other eye, ready? Let's do the same thing. And why is it one eye looks really good and then the other eye you're like, oh, I cannot get it right. I cannot get it right. Sometimes that just happens. So don't be so hard on yourself because even the pros have a hard time with the eye. See, look at my eye totally not enough curve to it so here we go i'm going to curve this and then bring it down and there we go 
Much better. Okay, now inside the eye, we're going to have two curves. One going out, curve it out, and then come in and curve toward the center. Beautiful. Now, if you're going to use markers or something on this, uh, you can leave this open. And if you don't want to use markers, then you can color it in. Okay, but put that reflective spot in there. I guess I better finish coloring mine in so you don't think I just scribbled on it on accident. <gasps> ah! Okay, so let's do that over here. I'm gonna curve toward the center on the inside. On the outside, I'm gonna curve toward the outside of my dragon. Now this is a made up light fury, so we can, we can come up with a name. Now on the sides of the head, we're gonna put two little lines going away from each other, and then at the end, curve that. Okay, curve that. And then down here, we're just gonna put like a letter U sideways. It looks like the letter C. There we go, we'll, we'll call it a letter C. So do that again, opposite. So two lines going away from each other, curve, and then a backward letter C. There we go, we have completed the head. Yes, everybody good with that? Any thumbs up, anybody got thumbs up? Yes, awesome, oh, I love it. You guys, these are looking good. These are looking real good. Now, let's go below this eye right here and we're gonna put the shoulder, okay, on both sides. Remember, we gotta do the whole body, same on both sides. We're gonna pull out that shoulder and then curve in. Okay, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna curve down here and then bring that arm back in. That's pretty easy. Same thing on the other side. Round this shoulder out, curve that foot. Uh, let's see here, I'm putting mine too close to each other. I don't want them that close to each other. Curve that down and then round out the foot and bring it in. Ta-da! Okay, back legs just come from this little armpit right here, come out and we're gonna curve this down. Okay, you guys are getting, you're gonna get pros. Do it on the other side. Good. Now for toenails, I'm going to lighten up that line down here. Just lighten it up. You don't don't get rid of it all the way. That way you know where you know where we're at. So I'm going to put three curves along that line. Now it kind of looks like elephant toenails, right? Kind of looks like elephant toenails. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see better. There we go. So now for this little dragon, I'm just going to bring it to a point. So just add a V right at the bottom of that nail. Okay, just bring it down and you've got three toenails. Gonna do that again over here. Three curves, give them those elephant toes. And then I'm gonna bring that V down. Perfect. Oh, this is looking good. Looking good. Now, whatever space you have between there, I'm just going to curve and put that little fat belly down there. Yay. Okay. Now here, I want to just add a couple of toes. So I'm going to do a curve and a curve, and that should be enough. Okay. So what are we going to do? Add the little V's at the end. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Curve, curve, V, V. There you go. Now, uh, Light Fury has wings. So come on each shoulder and droop down and then come out. Okay, if you wanna do some really cool wings, go for it. You get that, that freedom. But I'm gonna teach you how to do just simple wings to stick with our uh, cartoon looking toy today our Light Fury toy. Oh, you have glasses on, Una. I love it. <laughs> That's cute. Now, when you um, bring out this wing, pull down the end. Okay, you got it down here. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a curve up, and a curve up, and a curve up, and tuck it into the body. 
pretty simple, right? Pretty simple, I love it. Here we go. Everybody okay? Crazy Crowns is, is having a good time. I love this. Love it, love it. Okay, love it. Liza, excellent on the thumbs up. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, bring down this other side. Fox family, excellent. You are on it. Now curve, try to do them the same size. Curve and then tuck it into the body. Pretty awesome. I have to say it's looking really good to this side of the body. And I'm gonna just pull out, I'm trying to avoid the wing. So I'm just gonna pull it out close to the ground and then the thickness of the tail and then wrap it around at the end. Excellent. Now let me zoom in on the tail. Now the tail, I want to have this kind of bat wing right on the tail, right? So start at the tip, curve out, let's see, four times. See my teeny tiny curves? And then I'm gonna connect them by drooping down, drooping down. Beautiful. Oh, this is looking good. Looking good. Now do that again on the other side. Go opposite though on your curving, okay? Curve it out. Do four little lines and then connect them. Ta-da! Now you can grab your colors. Now you can grab your colors or if you just want to shade, then go ahead and shade. I did a gray color. I didn't do black. Um, I did outline it and I even added some circles because I want some texture on my dragon. I love texture on my dragon. And since it's a light, light fury or night light, it's a night light. Mom is a light fury. Dad is a night fury. Okay, I got it. Uh, I added a little white here because I was almost finished and my daughter said, um, mom, you need to have a little white on that. So <laughs> she caught me right in time. So go ahead. Um, you can shade, you can color, whatever your imagination is going to do for you. Explode it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Right. But on my shaded one with pencil, Think about where your light source is, okay? Mine's coming over here from the right, from my lamp. And so I do opposite, okay? So anything on the left side, I'm gonna shade. I'm gonna shade anywhere there's overlapping. So under the eyes, I did a little shading. Um, the back of the wings are a little darker. Let's see, underneath them, what is that called? Anchor shadow. Good, good, good. Anchor that, anchor that little dragon. You can put them on a rock or something, right? 